COVERAGE NOW ON THE PLAN TO KEEP THE WATERS OF THE SEQUOID CREEK OUT OF YOUR HOME. WHITESTOWN OFFICIALS ARE MAKING MOVES, BUT THOSE CONCERNS TO FIX THE FLOODING IS SURROUNDING THE AREA. EYEWITNESS NEWS REPORTER JAMIE DELINE EXPLAINS. IT'S BEEN ALMOST A YEAR SINCE THE JULY 1ST FLOODING THAT DEVASTATED HOMES IN WHITESBORO. IT DOESN'T LOOK LIKE A LOT RIGHT NOW, BUT, YOU KNOW, THE WATER, WATER LEVEL IS ABOVE HERE. GARY MANZER IS ONE OF THE HOMEOWNERS WHO LIVES IN THE SEQUOIT CREEK FLOODPLAIN. We lost everything. I mean, uh, we lost the furnace, the refrigerator. To prevent this from happening again, Whitestown has created an estimated $11 million plan for flood mitigation. The main part of this project involves the installation of a series of flood benches along about a mile and a quarter stretch of the Sequoia Creek on Commercial Drive. And essentially what a flood bench is, is an area for water to overflow into in a flooding situation. Now this mound of dirt behind me is what a flood bench looks like. The town of German Flats is currently installing one here at Fulmer Creek to help prevent flooding. Sometimes it's hard to imagine that if I just go into the stream and I dig out a little bit next to it, how's that going to make things better? There's bridges that are in the way, there's, there's railroad tracks that are in the way, but You've got to look at it holistically. You've got to say over this entire stretch, we've added a lot of volume to the floodplain. Currently, $5 million in funding has been secured for the project. It's our goal to at least start something on town property and our first flood venture too by this fall or early spring next year. And while many homeowners like Manzer are interested in selling their properties, Whitesboro's mayor says it's unlikely that the town will purchase them. It's not in our plan to buy out property. Manzer says he's a bit skeptical of the project. You know, you got to wait to see if it's going to work. Maybe it will. Who knows? Reporting Jamie DeLine, Eyewitness News. As Jamie just showed us, much like Whitesboro, the town of German Flats, Mohawk, and Ilion also have flooding issues, and they've put this fix to the test. It was back in May when the town began their flood mitigation project, which does include the benches on Fulmer Creek. It's going to consist of two flood benches, one on this side of the stream and another one on the leather stocking property that was a buyout property. This one was, is more on private property that was like through an easement. Now, the German Flats project will cost around $900,000, and it is expected to be complete within the next month. The United County Jail is getting...